So the second element of the recall is the come. We want the dog to be coming towards the handler very enthusiastically and very briskly without any form of deviation. A straight line is the best thing. When we've got puppies like Polly, what we do is we have one person and we have Carol here, another instructor, holding the dog and Gail's going to leave the dog just a little way and, and then she's going to call the dog and the Polly can run towards her and we're not looking at a present or anything. This is just the one element of wanting the dog to run enthusiastically towards the handler. Gail's going to bring her back and we're going to do that again. Again, you see, we've got someone holding the dog because we're teaching the weight as a separate exercise. And what we don't want to happen is that we spend so much time nagging the dog in the weight that we lose the enthusiasm in the recall as we go. Just then, Polly actually ran past Gail, but Gail just kept the exercise very, very light and fun, so Polly came straight back to her. So this is all about fun with the young puppies, and they should really be enjoying that run towards the handler. And she's done it again beautifully this time. Sometimes dogs can be a little bit cautious about coming into your own personal space. So it's quite nice to be able to just have the dog run towards you and throw some tidbits in between your legs so the dog gets used to running into that bit of personal space of yours. So once you start to put in a present, the dog is already starting to run between your legs. Also that helps the dog run straight and true towards you.